Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be um, doing kind of a color comparison on this brand new color from Beltress. This is Cookies and Cream Blonde. Right now I am wearing it in Colombia, one of my favorite styles from Beltress. I think I have it in five or six different colors. And when I posted my picture on our private Facebook group, Wig Studio One, Wig and Topper Support Group, I had many members ask me, is it close to this one? Is it close to this one? So I thought, let me just do a video and, and give you my thoughts. Now, please remember that the lights are going to alter colors a little bit and what you may see on your device may not be accurate. I'll try to show it. I'm going to show you cookies and cream blonde outside so you could get a, a good feel for it. Also, we all see colors slightly different. So what I may see one way, you may see another way. The other, the other factor that we have to take into consideration when we're looking at colors is our skin tone. I have a medium tan skin tone. Therefore, colors will appear a little bit lighter on me than they will appear on someone with a very fair skin tone. Just some, uh, just a few things to keep in mind. All of the wigs that I am going to show you, what I did purchase at Wig Studio One, I will leave links for you listed down below. I'll also leave timestamps for you down in the description box if you just want to see it compared to a certain, a particular color. I have three, four, I've got six other ones to, to show you. Let's start out with this brand new color, Cookies and Cream Blonde by Beltress. I have fallen in love with this color. I think it is absolutely beautiful. We start out with a brown root and this root is a number eight. However, when we, when I show you Butterbeer Blonde, you're going to see that the root on Cookies and Cream Blonde is a little, it's, it's an ashier uh, um, brown. It's an ashier eight than what we find on some of the others. Then we transition. We have a blend right here in the center. This, if you get, if you purchase a, a very straight, long style, then the center is obviously going to be longer. Just something for you to keep in mind. What we have right here in the center that transitioned from that ashy brown root is a blend of three colors. We have a light ash blonde, a platinum blonde, and a pure blonde. And that transitions down to an icy natural blonde. There is no gray in this color. There is no silver. There is some platinum blonde, but it's not a gray. And I know that sometimes these colors appear that way on our devices, but something for you to keep in mind, this is a very cool color, very ashy color. If you are looking for, for a color with absolutely no warmth in it, Cookies and Cream Blonde is definitely one that you probably will like. It, I think it is beautiful. And the root transitions through all the way through. On, on this particular style on Columbia, I think the lace front is done beautifully. We have some of that blonde just interwoven in between, just beautiful. I think they did a beautiful job with this color, Cookies and Cream Blonde. I've actually have two more on order in this color and I may be ordering a third. Next one that I'm go I'm going to start off with the ones that I feel are the closest. One of them is going to be Henry Margu 10613 GR and I'm going to show it to you in on Candace. I wish I would have a a wavy style to compare it to because that way you get a better idea on how it looks, but this is all I have. 10613 GR is very close to it based on the blend. We have a light ash blonde, which we have on, on the, on cookies and cream blonde. And we have a platinum blonde, which we also have on cookies and cream blonde. 
what none of these styles have is a blend and then ending up with the icy blonde that is what you're not going to see on any of the styles that i'm going to show you this is very unique on 10613 gr also please bear in mind these are regular synthetic fibers all the other ones including columbia they're all heat friendly fibers so we're going to have more shine on on the regular synthetic fibers however as far as color is concerned if you like the if you like 10613 gr you'll probably really like cookies and cream blonde one difference one big difference that i see is going to be the root on 10613 gr we have a a warmer root and a lighter root it's it's an eight here and the 10 is going to be a little bit lighter but i think that as far as color is concerned i mean we don't have any gray in 10613 gr as we don't have any gray cookies and cream blonde is going to appear a little brighter and a little lighter due to this icy blonde down at the at the end the next one i'm going to show you i think is also a pretty close color this is shaded biscuit by raquel welch on shaded biscuit let me get my notes we have a light ash blonde and it's evenly blended with a cool platinum blonde so we're going to have that's very close to the same blend again we're not going to have the icy blonde at the end but as far as colors is concerned you're going to have a very similar distribution on on a sh uh, shaded biscuit the root i don't have the color for raquel welch doesn't provide the color of the root however the root appears to be a little bit at least on pretty please which is the one that i have here the root appears to be a little a tiny little bit lighter it almost appears to be a 10. let's compare it to candace as you notice on candace we have a 10 root and the root on shaded biscuit appears to be very close i'd say that if you wanted to try a bell tress and you're looking for something similar to shaded biscuit you're undecided about this color then i think cookies and cream blonde is one that you may want to try it there is no warmth in shaded biscuit that i could see but if you have a different opinion, please let me know down in the comments. A couple of the members, when I posted my pictures, asked me how close is it to Butterbeer Blonde. And here I have Butterbeer Blonde by Belle Tress. This is a brand new one that I have here because I needed to replace my older one. This is on Delgona 16. With Butterbeer Blonde, we're going to have the root is going to be a little warmer. So it appears to be darker, but it's not that it's darker. It's that on Cookies and Cream Blonde, we have an ashier root. And on Butterbeer Blonde, we have a warmer root. With Butterbeer Blonde, we have a blend of Sandy Blonde, Ash Blonde, and a Light Blonde. It's going to appear a little bit... I don't, I don't want to say warmer because it's not a warm color, maybe leading a little bit more neutral. And that's due to that sandy blonde that we have in the blend. While we don't have any sandy blonde in cookies and cream blonde. But if you like butterbeer blonde, there's a good, and you're looking for something very cool, very ashy, you'll probably like uh, cookies and cream blonde. I think that you know, if we put them next to each other, we're definitely going to see, especially down here towards the bottom, we're going to see, a, a, it's going to appear a little bit more neutral. You're going to see a little bit more, I don't want to really say a warmth, but it, it's leaning that way with the sand. But as far as colors go, I think that they're, they're comparable i mean they're obviously not the same none of these are and i am not trying to say that i just wanted to give you that comparison because i was asked by so many members to how close is it to this one or how close is it to the other one now we're going to start leaning a little bit away from what we saw on 10 6 
13GR from Henry Margu in what we saw with Shaded Biscuit from Raquel Welch and Butterbeer Blonde from Beltres. Here is Tres Leche Blonde. As you can see, when I put them next to each other, this Tres Leche Blonde is going to appear a lot warmer than what we find on Cookies and Cream Blonde. And that is due to the Honey Blonde that we have in, in Tres Leche. We have Golden Blonde, we have Honey Blonde, and we do have some Ash. The roots are going to be an eight, but they're a warmer root. They're not a cool root, but because we have that Honey Blonde and we have that Golden Blonde in the blend, we're not going to have such a cool ashy color as we find on Tres Leche. And when I put them next to each other, you could really see the difference there. I no longer have Root Beer Float Blonde, but I'll add a picture up here for you. With Root Beer Float Blonde, on me it appeared very warm. I know that it doesn't appear warm on everybody. On me, if you could, you'll see by the picture, that Ahmed appeared very warm and warm colors do, uh, they do, I do nothing for them. <laughs> Root Beer Float Blonde is a light pearl blonde, an ash blonde, a beige blonde, champagne blonde. And I think that blend of the champagne blonde, the beige blonde, and the pearl blonde will create a more of a neutral color. It, and it leans, to me, it leans a little bit warm, where Cookies and Cream Blonde doesn't lean warm at all. I wasn't going to add Brown Sugar Sweet Cream to this lineup, only because Brown Sugar Sweet Cream has is totally different than Cookies and Cream Blonde. But because I had some members ask me about it, I thought, okay, let me show you. On Brown Sugar Sweet Cream, we have a blend of a dark, a medium and a light brown and then we have a little bit of the blonde highlights running through as you can see they're totally different colors cookies and cream blonde is a very ashy very blonde color very cool color whereas um, brown sugar sweet cream is going to be more of a neutral color the roots is going to be the root is an eight just as we find on cookies and cream blonde However, it is warm on brown sugar sweet cream or leaning warm, while on Cookies and Cream Blonde, it's going to be more ashy. So if you're looking for something similar to brown sugar sweet cream, then Cookies and Cream Blonde may not be for you unless you're looking to go in a totally different direction of very cool, very ashy, a lot blonder, and away from the brunette, there's really no uh, brown in this color except for the root that is transitioning down all right let's take a walk outside so you could see cookies and cream blonde out in the daylight and then i'll come back Thank you everyone. I hope this video was helpful and informative. I hope that I helped you decide if there was a color that you usually wear, if you like to try cookies and cream, or you said, oh, I'm so glad I saw this because now I know it's not for me. Let me know what your thoughts are on cookies and cream blonde. Is this a color that you're going to try or is this a pass for you? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.